Oh, uh, can I do the intro while this is playing? What a challenge. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you just start it? Oh, welcome back to Give It A Shot. Give It A Shot. Give It A Shot. Is a series where I play a game never played before and I see if it's worth playing a little bit more. Today on Give It A Shot. You guessed it. Well, you might have. Well, you probably know what it is uh, due to the title of the video and then the thumbnail further I'm telling it so loud oh my goodness that is so insanely loud you know what I think that I get this figured out every time and it turns out I never have it figured out there we go let's see if that's maybe a little bit better hyperlight drifter that's what we're playing today there's our guy I recognize that guy. So I've never played this before. Um, I saw some coverage of it. It looked aight. Uh, ultimately, it didn't look like my kind of thing. Still insanely loud. Okay, alright. I mean, how loud could you possibly get? At this, that's a horrifying image. Dude, I, I have a lot going on right now. All right. Can we, can we go with that? Is that a little nicer? Thank you, I, uh, I mean, honestly. Turned it down like four times since we started this recording. Louder and louder, there's our dog. Looks like a Doberman, doesn't he? A little Doberman. A Dober dog. So, if you haven't followed the story yet, there was a uh, our friend vomited, and he caused a plague, which made big giants come out. And now he has a dog companion, and we're going into a tower. That's all I have for you. Okay, this is getting a little long. I mean, you know what? You had me a little on edge with the volume, which is increasingly loud again. I'm gonna skip. Can I skip it? No, I can't. I can't, and it's so loud again. Okay, in game, I have the volume set to 50%. I have now turned it down to 15% through Windows as well. Yo, Hyperlight Drifter, you got a loud game. Look, I have a sword. I have a sword and a, and a, a world of frustrations. Here we go. So it's kind of like, um, gosh, I guess like Zelda E. It looks like a little bit. LB use LB to heal. Okay, cool. So we've we've gotten our blood syringe in there, and now we're going to interact with this elevator. And that fellows is Hyperlight Drifter in a nutshell. No, I have no idea what this game entails. I have less of an idea what this game is since I started it. Um, just kind of like moseying around a little bit so we can zoom over here for sure. Let's make an item. We don't need to heal yet. Are those things? Those aren't things. Those are just the broken boxes. All right. You are dead. Sorry about your luck. So we have to, uh, to oh, that's not going to help anyone. All right. Forgot to actually do the thing there. Uh, to ping the HUD. Oh, I see. It just brings it up. Kind of like Dark Souls where you... Where you block once and then you... Can see your health. I mean, that example is not going to apply to everyone, but it applies to me. Hello? There we are. And now what have we here? Well, okay, I didn't expect to have a ray gun. But we do now. Oh, that's nice. Well, let's destroy that first, shall we? And then shoot. 
here we go we are doing real well none of these boxes appear to have anything in them which is unfortunate slash enemies objects to charge guns okay okay hold on kind of add it do I run out of ammo I mean hello there dingleberry oh I see I see I see whoops that's nothing you're all mine I have health potions for days I'm not worried if you guys hit me once twice three times hit me as much as you want I don't care oh brother okay big robot nope can't do anything with him don't worry about him he is nothing first boss material no we're just moving right along forget that you ever even saw him okay charging up the old bridge I had nothing wrong with that still not first boss all right but when he comes back and he's the first boss don't come crying to me oh well now we're in a beautiful locale we have many places to go we can slice and dice bunch of grass go down no we can't go down but it does look as if we might be able to go right through here nope can't do any such thing well you know what I'll give it points for style it does look very cool um, unique I guess I'll say and in today's gaming uh, oh okay well I like to see that look he can either be like looking over there looking over the edge or he can be looking at the camera like he's posing look this is our vacation to the white city the white city oh boy well that doesn't sound great does it look the buildings were white okay I'm not trying to make a statement don't throw up again and make a creepy head now nah, he's gonna do it he's gonna do it he always does look there's your creepy head like clockwork this one I'm sure if you look it up there's a very deep meaningful reason for all this stuff oh hello friend oh my goodness this game made me a little sleepy all right well thank you for helping me uh solaire appreciate that nice warm fire okay i am up is that uh boba fett nope okay oh look i can lay down i love it when games do that Okay, we can view the map. He's left of the map. That's very nice. Look, we can look at ourselves in the mirror. We can turn off the lights. I'm not like 100% why we would do that, but we have that option available to us. That is a thing as well that we can do. This is going to be one of those games I can tell where it's it's really really vague and it you know there's gonna be forums full of people who are like well yeah when you check the map on the one screen it means everything and I'm gonna be like no 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 it means nothing Brian you sound awful combative against this game you know what? I don't mean to. Let, let me take a step back. Let's just enjoy it for what it is. Okay, there's another dog. There's a bird. Our dog has all but gone home. Our dog does not care about us at this point in time. He left through the little portal. Hello? Hello? Can I talk to you? B button, maybe? One of these. Whoa, I just wasted a heal. So that's fun. Do I... So I don't have like... Oh, I don't have my weapons. Hello? Hello? 
No, I do have my weapons. I just couldn't use them in there. All right, let's let's like explore on a little bit. Like, what are we waiting here for? Come alive and face me. Whoops. All right, don't hit those things. I know, I know. You got to heal up. You got to keep at full health. Trust me, I get it. Okay, well, let's keep rolling. Look, if we die, we die. If I poop, I poop. Can I, um, bow bow? And then here's a health kit. All right, all right, we'll heal up. There we go. No sense in being prideful. Ah, uh, great. This all looks good. It looks as if we are exploring a video game. You know, I don't know why I... So when it came out, it got a little bit of... Got a little bit of praise, I think. At least. Um, but it never, like, shook the ground beneath it, you know? As far as I remember, I guess I don't... When did this come out? It would have been like 2016? 2015? No, it would have been 2016, I think. Now, am I allowed to talk to anyone? Okay. Alright, he is talking about a picture of a fallen king of some kind. And that fallen king is over to the northwest. It's a boss. It's the Fallen King boss. All right, great. I like the storytelling, I think. Again, it leaves a little to the imagination. And if you trust your audience, that is a very nice compliment. To say, hey, you tell me what it means and you're probably right. I mean, I'm smoking these guys. Whoops. Okay, these guys are smoking me now. Hold on. Heal up. Heal. Okay. All right. All right. Here. Here. I'm shooting the thing. Oh, golly. Okay. Okay. Run. Run. Heal. There we go. We Somehow we've lost all sense of control against these guys, even though we were just demolishing them before. Here. Okay, pick that up. That's a fragment of something, and now we have it. Now we own it. It's ours to keep. We came in, we killed, and now we get the spoils of war. So you have to hit things charge gun. You can see that we have like six little blips there, and I, I'm assuming that means we have six little shots of our firearm. I bet gun enthusiasts wish that's how it worked in real life. Because <laughs> then they wouldn't have to buy um, a lot of ammo. I know a couple of gun enthusiasts. And they are very enthusiastic about guns. And now, I'm not, per se. I don't really care. I'm not scared of guns, I guess. But like... I'm not super into them. I can get excited about pretty much anything, you know? Like, if you have a passion for something and you start talking to me about it, I'm down. Like, I'm happy that you're excited about it. So I can kind of mirror that energy. Uh, but as far as, like, fostering a love of that thing within me it probably is a non-starter like your your passion and love for something probably isn't gonna like drag me in to it um but i guess it can happen it has happened before i suppose Okay, I, I won't quickly be made a fool by you guys again. Look, you gotta hit him. Dodge out of the way. If you can't stun lock him, we're done. Okay, we need three 
USB 2.0 ports. And we have zero, I guess. Um, so what I do kind of initially like about this, uh, seeing as this is a first impression series, and, and sometimes I just play a game for 20 minutes and I don't talk about it at all. Um, I like that there always appears to be somewhere to go. So I'm, oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yep. Heal up. There we go. You're getting attacked by wolves over here. I swear. I like that it doesn't just say, no, you can't go here. Turn around and like go down one of the 20 other paths that you can take. Instead, it's like, you can't go here. But just to your left is another where that you can go. What other game does that really well? Uh, I'm playing like through Sekiro now. And Sekiro does that pretty well as well. Uh, where, where if an area is too hard, it's like, dude, there's a couple other places you can go. You know, if you're not feeling this one right now. And I really do appreciate that. It helps me not feel defeated. Because it's a video game, you know, I I kind of want the um, feeling of like the odds being stacked against me so I can overcome the odds. Uh, but sometimes with video games, they have a way of, whoops, didn't mean to, well, did I mean to do it or was I just exploring? Just exploring, probably. Let's go down here and let's see what a, what what the heck it is. Okay, we are filled up on health kits, which is nice. Um. Oh, okay. That's, so there is like no, there's no currency, not even the green gems, which is what I initially thought. Uh, let's just keep going down, I guess. Down into the dungeon. Like, at this point, I feel as it... Wait a minute. Wasn't I... Is this the plate? No, what is this? This is all brand new. Hey, stop it. Stop. Hey. No, please. Gun is fully charged from slashing. Alright, so that was the boss room. Oh, thank goodness gracious, we have a continue point. Uh, so let's heal up first of all grab that um, I think that was the only one in here let's just go out there and straight up try it again I, I was a little sloppy the guns shoot very slowly so I can be much less concerned about hey hey look out okay hold on I'm getting it boy there is no time at all to like be okay with what's going on all right there we go. Uh, what I meant to say by that was there are no um, invincibility frames after you get hit. So it just keeps piling on. So like you don't get hit and then blink for a little while. Catch your breath. You know what invincibility frames. Dude, like we were just talking about how I don't like being hit. Who does like being hit? If I be a person who likes being hit, and I'll tell you, I'll call that person a liar. Right to their face. Can I get through here now? Little confusing sometimes, because you sometimes you're allowed to go under places. Whoopsie doodle. There you go, he's he's dead. Sometimes you're allowed to go under places or around certain scenery. Um, and then other times it's like, nope, nope, a dope, can't do that. Yo, dodge, please. Okay, can we shoot him a bunch? I guess. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we've opened up a square, and now we have a thing. 
I don't know. It's it's a little too vague for me. I I prefer yo. Okay. There we go. You can get two hits on him. Dodge out of the way. Two hits. Dodge. Whoops. Nope. Guess I could have gotten three out of that one. Hey, that's on me. I kind of like the. You need three keys. You got one key. You know, kind of like the Legend of Zelda E. Ask any video game. Ask like every video game does that. You got. You need one blue square. Congratulations, you picked up your one blue square. Okay, so that's the thing we filled up, and that is a fast travel point. Very good to know. Alrighty, let's go down here. And I get it, you know, before you say anything, you're like, Brian, hey, you're supposed to learn it organically through the game. You're, there's a whole point of Hyperlight Drifter is that they don't tell you anything. And I know. And maybe they, you know what? Maybe that's just not my style. Okay, buddy. Okay, okay, yep, that's fine too, that all works. All right, really, people? So we're gonna do it. Okay, can I break you? I cannot, I don't have that ability. So, supercharge over, no, never mind. there's nothing. We can't, we can't even do anything there if we wanted to. A lot of quick maneuvering in this level. Can we go down? Can we go over here? Is that something we can break? Whoops. Okay. Ah, there's something. Okay. I'm going to assume that that's why we came down here and then I'm gonna go back up because I'm not sure what else we, we can do immediately. Okay. Here we are. We're slashing up flowers the best way we know how to. We can warp at a moment's notice. As long as we do the thing. Um, so here's kind of what I'm talking about. You know what? There, there's always a different place that we can go. And that's that helps it to be encouraging in a way if it, if that makes any sense at all okay i see you little crystal spider and another thing like i'd be totally fine with a little a little positive feedback i guess is what i'm, I'm trying to say like i get if you don't level up that's that's cool uh, not every game has to have rpg mechanics but like these guys, do I get any currency? Is there any reason that I should be trying to fight every enemy I come across? Is there an experience system that's just hidden like everything else in the game? You know, like, do I, do I get more skills eventually? I just don't know. There's a lot of things to do, places to see people to visit but there's not a lot of like yo okay I'm about to die I'm, I'm dead there's a lot of stuff I'm just not being guided through it in any way shape or form and if that's your kind of game that is your kind of game and I cannot fault you for it unfortunately not really my type of game Hyper Light Drifter, today on Give It A Shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's not for me. If you already like it, tell me why you already like it. And I will totally agree with you. Because you know what? It's totally valid. Um, I will see you guys next time. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, goodbye.